Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Bedside. Thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Now on today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to stay active. If that is something you want to hear more about, stay tuned. So hey guys, so as adults, and we're all adults here, we know what is good for us and what is bad. So what is the problem why we can't consistently do the things that we know is going to gain us good results and avoid the things that's going to do us bad? Let's talk a little bit about that. So this is not the first time you're going to hear staying active is actually good for you. We all know that, but we still lack the motivation of getting it done, right? So what, what is the problem? Why is it that we can't? consistently stay active get our bodies the way that we need it to be and live our best lives I have diabetes and of recent days high blood pressure now my mom passed away when she was 56 from complications of those same disease now she tried everything that she could to take care of herself but medicine wasn't as advanced as it is right now so and the knowledge she probably didn't know as much as we might know today how to take care of herself so that is my motivation that is why i do what i do it all stems from my history my mom my grandma and everything at least 30 minutes a day getting your heart rate up is one of the best gifts you can give to yourself now be motivated to do that is where the issue is right people will complain that they don't have the time they don't feel motivated they're not energized and that's just the reality of what we face every single day but we have to dig deep we have to find that motivation to get us to where we need to be motivation is what inspires us and energize us to do what we need to do. And our mental health has a whole lot to do with how motivated we are. So let's dig a little deeper. Now, if you're in an emotional state of distress, like say you're having anxiety, you're having depression, you're having some kind of trauma, like you're not feeling well or things are not going well in your life, you're not gonna feel motivated to do the things that you wanna do. So motivation is coming from your mental state of mind. It's coming from your well-being. And the first thing that you have to do is identify what is the root of the problem? What is causing you to not feel motivated? You have to identify that to be able to even move past that. You understand? Yeah, man. Now you might ask, What's gonna happen if I don't get up and move? What if I continue this way that I am, I just move around just enough to get things done, but I'm not getting my heart rate up and sustaining that for at least 30 minutes, at least five days a week, or even three. What is gonna happen to me? First of all, you're gonna put on weight. You're gonna gain more weight, and as you gain more weight, it's gonna also impact your well-being. You're gonna feel depressed, you're gonna have anxiety, you're not gonna feel good about the weight that you're gaining. So then, it's like you're just going around in a circle, not getting to the goals that you want to achieve. Then next, it's gonna affect your health completely, so especially when you're at a younger age, like in your 40s or your 50s, or even your 60s. You don't wanna have to suffer one of those um, stroke or heart attack and put you down you can't move around anymore and know you have lost all all hope so here are some of the things that could happen if you choose to um stay inactive you're at risk of gaining more weight you have risk of heart attack and stroke you're at risk of dementia and dementia is just one of those things where oh my god it is not a pretty sight you barely can it's like you're here in the body but you're not even here so we gotta stay active like I talk a lot about hormones over here and guys I don't think you realize how much hormones affect our daily lifestyle there's a hormone called dopamine okay and dopamine is responsible for our 
feel good mood dopamine is what motivate us if your dopamine level is low you're gonna have lack um you're gonna lack energy you're gonna not have the motivation and if it is too high then you're gonna be too hyper and you're, you're just gonna have other issues so you want to stabilize your, your dopamine levels ways in which you can regulate your dopamine is sleep sleep if you are not getting enough rest enough sleep you're running into a lot of problems you are gonna run into problems guys you have to sleep you have to sleep and if you're working out vigorously like say you're watching this and you're saying to yourself no girl I don't have that problem I go to gym every day and I'm just working out hard I'm going beasting like 30 minutes oh no I'm over there for an hour hour and a half to no you don't need to work out so hard and if you're working out that hard you have to make sure you're getting enough sleep to recover cover your for your body to recover okay so don't skip out on your sleep it's gonna affect everything else that you're trying to, to achieve if you're not resting so here are some tips to improve your motivation and to get you to get up and move you have to you have to identify what motivates you why why do you want to do this do you want to um do it for your health you want to do it for longevity whatever it is gonna um that you want to do this for you got to identify that you got to avoid distraction set a goal set a time like you say to yourself i'm gonna do this at 8 a.m and that's it so when it got, gets to like 7 30 don't bother be looking at your phone and doing all kind of other things to distract you Focus on the fact that you're going to be doing this at 8 o'clock. Avoid phone calls. If your phone rings, just don't answer it because you're focused on doing your workout because you will get distracted. And the minute you get distracted, it's all gone. It's through the window. So focus on your goals. Set realistic goals also. Don't say you're going to go sign up at a gym and you're going to go over there when you know you don't even like leaving your house. You know after you're leaving work, you don't want to have to stop. You want to come straight home. So don't bother go sign up at the gym and give them your money and then you only go for a week or two. Get yourself some weights in your house. These are three pound weights. You can get a whole set of them that has different level weights. Start small, go slow. Don't overexert yourself and doing more than you can. Then you get injured. I know you're tired. I know you can't do it no more and you hate it. So set realistic goals. Don't put yourself where you know you can't manage. Do what you can handle. Now, if you know you can't stay consistent with what you need to do, find a, an accountability partner find someone who can get um call you up and say look here you need to get going you need to do this if that's the person who's gonna call you at 7 30 if you had made your workout time to be eight o'clock yeah answer that person yeah answer that person and get your workout going so you get an accountability partner and please be nice to yourself give yourself positive self-talk don't be telling yourself all this negativity so give yourself positive self-talk and get your movement on guys staying active is so 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 important it, it's not only making you look good physically but it's helping your brain it's helping your bones it's just helping you all around sleep an activity and a good diet you're on your way hunty you are on your way so thank you again for tuning in for another episode of beyond the bedside because i'm gonna go ahead and finish my workout talk to you soon Ta -ta.